now you know that in geometry, a line extends in both directions without end. So a line is infinitely long. You cannot really measure the length of a line. However, you can measure the length of a line segment. A line segment is a line with defined endpoints. So in this case, this line segment is defined by points A and points and point A and point B. The length of the line segment AB is the distance between point A and point B. In this line here where we have the arrows going in both directions and indicating that this line is infinitely long, we also have the points A and the point B, the points A and B, but the line is infinite. It extends in both directions forever and we can't measure it with the measuring tape. You can measure the length of a line segment using a small ruler if you're just working on a small piece of paper or if you have a really long line segment, you can measure your line segment using a large measuring tape. Let's take a look at a couple of, of examples of how we can measure out and find the distance between two points in a line segment. The example that we're going to take a look at asks us to measure the length of line segment AB. So here we have line AB, which we know extends in both directions forever. But we are just going to be looking at this line segment between point A and point B and measuring the length of it. We are seeing here that our measurements are in centimeters. And so let's take a look at what we have. Point A is at zero. And then we see these are marked off one, two, three. Point B is at three. And so there are three spaces between them and this means that the length is three spaces long. And since, since each space is equal to one centimeter, we can see then that the length of line segment AB is equal to three centimeters. Our next example asks us to measure the length of BD, line segment BD. And so we're going to look at the distance between points B and D on our line. So we have B at 2, point B is at 2, and point D is at 7. So we can find the distance between these two points either by subtracting 7 minus 2 equals 5 or counting the spaces 1, 2, 3, four, five. And so you can see that the distance between B and D is a measurement of five spaces. Now, if each space represents one centimeter, then we would say that the length of BD is five centimeters. If each unit or each space represents a meter, we would say in our answer that our measurement is five meters. So it depends on what unit you're measuring your line in, which will be indicated for you in your problems. If there are no units indicated, like in this case, we can simply give our answer as five spaces would be the measurement of the length of line segment BD.